Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What's the capital gains tax on real estate? When you sell a property, you may be subject to capital gains tax. This tax applies to the profit made from selling real estate. The amount of tax depends on several factors. One key factor is the length of time you owned the property. If you owned it for more than a year, it is considered a long-term capital gain. Long-term capital gains are usually taxed at a lower rate. If you owned the property for less than a year, it is a short-term capital gain. Short-term capital gains are taxed at the same rate as ordinary income. Another important factor is your income tax bracket. Your tax rate for long-term capital gains may vary based on your income level. The higher your income, the higher the tax rate you might face. There are also specific exemptions and exclusions available. For instance, if the property is your primary residence, you may qualify for an exclusion. Single filers can exclude up to a certain amount of gain, while married couples filing jointly can exclude a higher amount. And uncertain expenses can reduce your taxable gain. These include costs like home improvements and selling expenses. It's essential to keep detailed records of these expenses. There are also special rules for inherited property. The basis of inherited property is generally the fair market value at the time of the original owner's death. This can affect the amount of capital gains tax owed. And understanding the capital gains tax on real estate can be complex. Consulting with a tax professional is advisable to navigate these rules. They can help ensure you comply with tax laws and potentially reduce your tax liability. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.